Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to come back and do a few of these little berries and leaves in the picture we're working on. And you can find this uh, book here at her Etsy shop. <laughs> Notice I'm getting him a little color too. <laughs> Next time he might have his little glove colored. The book um, it's called Set of Art and it's at her Etsy shop but she also has an Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest page. So take a screenshot and you can get that information. The um, book it looks like a, with all the people in it, testing out a color on there. So what I had mentioned before is I'm trying to do the little bird as a chickadee and the um, berries that I'm going to be coloring are going to be of a reddish um, color. It's, I think, I believe it was called Rowan tree, uh, Dara does R O W E N as a berry tree. We have um, chickadees here in the Pacific Northwest, and uh, they eat, along with the hummingbirds, all my blueberries. <laughs> so you could put color these in in blue. They also like our holly berries on um, one of our plants. It's a very edible one for the birds, and they're bright, bright red. But the um, picture I looked up of tried to get a chickadee from Poland where the artist is from and they have these uh, kind of red salmon colored berries that we're going to try and work on here so that's what I wanted to do I pulled out a bunch of colors to try to mimic a color that I could use in the berries so we're going with apricot which is 41 uh, Carillion, which is 850. Scarlet, which is 70. We have Praline Brown, which is 885. We have Russet, which is 65. And the last one we have is Burnt Ochre, which is 77. So in between this range, those berries will become something that I have in mind. <laughs> We're going to start off with the apricot. I'm going to work on this little section here, so I'm going to get the camera down and we will be back in a second. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and lay down the apricot, which is this one here. And we're going to just color in a base coat here. of apricot. Very light pressure. We're going to put it on a couple of these. I'm going to try to make some of these berries lighter than others and some darker so we're just going to start with the lightest color that I had picked out. On some of them I'll leave a little more highlighting and some of them this color will be the highlight. Okay, next color we're going to use Okay, the number 850. So I'll be going after kind of a um, salmony orange color on some and more intense deepness of red in some other ones just to give a nice variety of color. And yes, I know this is an orangey color, but we'll see what we can do here. We're going to get a little of this in all of them. Not necessarily in the same spots. <laughs> okay, we're going to bring in the russet just sharpened this one J 
just go over it. that in around the shadows of these berries down here. shiny so it might not so it's the um, praline brown eight or five eight five Throwing all these colors, by the way. Burnt ochre, 77. Last one we're bringing in is the Scarlet Red, number 70. So this is going to redden up the darkest berries. Still want to leave a shine on them, so don't color all of it. <laughs> Unless you want to bring back in a shine. Just a little bit in on some of these. Leave them more on the um, peachier side. of uh, Prisma White. Put it right in where you want that shine to stay. And then go back in with the same colors. So going with the apricot.
some of the russet. Okay, I'm going to turn off the lights so you can see it. a little better lighting there. And that's what it's going to look like. Darken this one up a little bit around the edge. So we got little berries going. Might add a little bit more red, red in there. What do I got here? Okay, we're going to add in crimson. Oh. <laughs> Ollie Zarian. <laughs> anyway, it's uh, five, eight, nine. We're gonna add a little bit of that in there too, just to pop the red color in these redder berries. We can add a highlight into the other ones. And there we are, just a bit redder. I'll turn the light back on. I think it just shines on the um, coloring here, so I don't know if you're seeing the right colors, but there we've got the berries. And we're going to do that on the ones up here, so I don't need to show that on camera, but we are going to work on these little leaves here. So I will get the colors out for that. Okay, we're back with the greens. Um, so we're going to go with Cobalt Green 182, Moss Green 225, and Olive Brown um, 39. And when I was talking about the berries, I misspelled it. <laughs> it's R-O-W-A-N, and it's a tree that they have. So you could use... Um, any red berries, mistletoe, uh, holly, anything. When you look up chickadees uh, eating berries, they always pop up with the red berries and um, like a little brown branch. So you kind of have to do some research to find out where the berries are coming from. And they call them all sorts of stuff. But I just thought this was a pretty color combination to go with the bird and her skin tone. And um, when we get the leaves finished and all the berries then I will pull out some colors to do her hair in. I have not decided on the color of her hair yet. So we're going to start off with the, um, if I don't put my hand behind here it's never going to focus, cobalt green oh, 182. The camera likes to focus on the background not the pencil. So we're just going to kind of use this like we did with the berries in the apricot. This is the lightest color and we're just going to go over the entire leaf with this color very lightly. So I'll get all these leaves colored in this way. There are two different kinds of leaves in here, so we're going to have to change up the color for the other ones. And I really have to figure out if this is a leaf back here, another berry. I'm not sure. So we're going to leave them alone for right now. This one is a leaf. I think this is a leaf, but I think that is a berry. So we'll throw some color in here. Could be that tip up there too, who knows. But I think that one's a berry, so we're going to have to do that one. Okay, so we come back in now with the moss green 
225. We're going to go around the little vein here and around the edge. Not all the edges, but just for the most part, we're going to bring that color in and darken up the tip up here and go around. Okay, so you just uh, kind of look at your leaf and decide where you want the depth of color on these. This one's got some ruffles in it and you can just add it on the ruffle parts and a little on the tip. Um, you can do it on this side because it's darker. Just add a little extra color in there, leaving that tip light. I mean, it's all up to you. This is just the way I'm doing it. And I want it dark underneath the berries. And we just have to decide. That is going to be a berry. I'm going to make it a berry. Because I'm not going to color it green. <laughs> that's how I make up my mind. Isn't that silly? But that's the way it goes. Okay. Now the other color we're bringing in is going to be the olive brown 39. This is going to darken up any area that you want darker. Exaggerate any of those lines that you want to bring in, the veins. Getting shadow to any areas that you want to have a little darker because they're underneath the berries. And we're also going to bring this in to the stem here. Now, olive um, brown is not a color that I would use in her hair if I wanted her to have brown hair. So. I think that works nicely there. Okay, I'm going to color that berry in really quick. So this is just the apricot. And then we'll just go in with um, the russet. Darken that up a little bit. But leaving some light in there. Boom. Okay. Back in with the um, moss green. Just going to darken that olive brown up a little bit. Bring this color in more to the leaf. And with these we're always using a light touch. To the very, very end when you want to blend it. I'm going to throw some of this also into the branch. Okay. Go back in with the lighter color, which is the cobalt green. Go 
go back in with the moss green. sepia. I'm going to sharpen that to do the veining on the uh, leaves here. Okay, I'm going to turn off this light and you can see the color in here. So I'm going to go in and then pull out some veins here. One of the biggest Things I always try to remember when I'm doing this is if you bring out a vein on this side, go kind of in the middle to bring one up on the other side. Because the veins just kind of do that on a leaf, the one side in, one side out type thing. Kind of like zipper teeth. <laughs> Sometimes I don't do that, it doesn't quite look right. <laughs> I have to go back in and add another one. <laughs> You can leave the step out. She's made little uh, leaf indentations on some of these leaves that you can see, but colored over them a little bit. I always like to darken them up a little bit. Okay, this is, did I show you the color I'm using? It's sepia. Okay. We can add this into the tree trunk, into the dark areas over the light green that I used. Make some of these a little darker. You can use it in here on the berries to shadow the ones in the back. So there we go. That is those kind of leaves. Then we have um, this leaf over here that we are going to do also. And this is more of a I don't know what you call this leaf. So it's not really a holly leaf. It's, um, hold on a second. Okay. Uh, just spent a little time looking up this type of leaf. Now, interesting fact, these also could be currants because they do have this little pattern leaf here. They are kind of a red berry and they also have these kind of leaves on a, a part, portion of the, um, this is the wild one. This is the more tame one, I guess. <laughs> the ones that grow in the gardens. These are the ones that grow out in the wild. <laughs> I don't know. I was having fun trying to figure these out. So we're going to just use the same colors, but we're going to add the sepia into the um, color range. I'll turn the light back on so you can see. <laughs> I, I just I sometimes overthink myself here. So it's the same colors we're just going to go in with and we're going to start with a little bit of the cobalt and add it on the lightest 
portion of the leaf here. I just assume that there's going to be light coming from the top of her head because that's kind of where I put it. <laughs> okay. These leaves will be done the same as those over there, so I might as well throw this color on there too. Okay, go in with the mm -hmm. moss green. Okay, I'm going to go in with the olive brown. Okay, and the sepia. darken this leaf because it's underneath.
I'm just lightly bringing that pencil over everything. Barely touching the page here. I'm going to darken it under here. Then we're going to go back in with the moss green. I'm going in the direction of the leaf this time. Bring back in the cobalt green. back in with the olive brown. I have to turn the paper though. Bring that color outward. Okay, we're going to bring in a little bit of the apricot and we're going to add it into this leaf. Trying not to go outside of the lines, <laughs> but I'm not having much luck on that. Just adds a little bit of color in there. I like that. Okay, we're going to go ahead and um, finish up this little section of leaf here. I might add some of that. Hmm, I don't know if I want to add that color into the other leaves too. Uh, we can add a little bit just around the edge there. Don't add too much. I don't want them looking too much like the other leaves. And we'll add a little in 
the branch too. <clears throat> okay, just add a little bit. Okay, we need to color in and put um, leaf marks in here. And we can do the same with these, go over our lines. Okay, so there we look a little bit more like leaves. So I'm going to pull the camera up, <clears throat> and that's what we have for today. Off camera, I'll finish up the other leaves and all the uh, rest of the berries that are down here and up on her uh, hair area. Then the next video will come back and do her hair and hopefully, or maybe not, a background. <laughs> we'll decide. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. I've got <clears throat> to get a turkey in the oven. <laughs> so I will see you tomorrow. I hope you all have a great day, and I will see you in part um, four. Take care, everyone. Bye now.